I'm Divya and I'm a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how you can manage the slow query log and the general log for MySQL DB instance. You can manage the MySQL error log, the slow query log, and the general log directly through the Amazon RDS console, Amazon RDS API, Amazon RDS AWS command line interface, or AWS SDKs. So let's get started. You must create and use a custom parameter group to have the logging parameters available and it is not possible to make changes to a default parameter group. As you can see, I'm currently logged into the AWS Management Console. Let's navigate to the RDS Console. On the left-hand side of this page, you'll see a navigation page with an option Parameter Groups. Choose that option. Now let's create a new parameter group with the custom parameters enabled. Choose Create Parameter Group the Create Parameter Group window appears. In Parameter Group Family list, select the DB Parameter Group Family to be MySQL 5.7. In the Group Name box, enter the name of the new DB Parameter Group, Test Logging, as we are testing logging here. You can pick another name if you want. In the Description box, enter a description for the new DB Parameter Group as Testing Logging Parameters for MySQL. You can pick a more appropriate description if you want. Choose Create. When the parameter group is created, you will see it in the list of parameter groups. Navigate through it and then choose it to modify it. Choose Edit Parameters visible on the top right corner of the screen. Modify the parameters Slow Query Log to 1, Long Query Time to 5, and Log Output to 5. Choose Save Changes on the top right corner. By doing this, we made a parameter group which will have slow query logging enabled for all queries that take more than 5 seconds to run. The output is logged in a separate file for slow query logs. If you want to have general logging enabled, modify the parameter general log to 1 by modifying the parameter group. If you want to have the logging inside a table in the database, set log output to table, which is also the default. When you attach the recently created custom parameter group to your RDS instance, you can view the slow query logs as file on the console. Navigate through the RDS instance on the console that you want to enable logging for. Select the instance and click Modify. The Modify DB instance page will appear. Navigate through the heading DB Parameter Group. Then select the newly created parameter group from the list. Click Continue and then select Apply immediately. The instance will be in modifying state for a while and then it will be available. Now if you navigate through the instance on the console, you will see in front of the parameter group pending reboot. This is because the new parameter group doesn't take effect until you manually reboot the instance. Reboot the instance to have the parameter group take effect. You will see the logs being generated in the logs and events only if the log output is file section of your instance. Note, if you enable table logging, that is, set log output to table, which is also the default, the amount of data written to the database can increase, which can also affect performance due to resources used to write to these tables. I am now logged into my MySQL instance, which has logging set to table, as you can see from the output of the below query. Allow me to show you how this can affect the instance storage and how can you check it. When table logging is enabled, in some cases, the log tables are rotated every 24 hours. This rotation occurs if the space used by the table logs is more than 20% of the allocated storage space or if the size of all the logs combined is greater than 10 GB. Use the following query to check the data in the mysql.slow log table. Let's run it on my instance. You can use it to see the data in the mysql.general log table by changing the table name. Log tables keep growing until the respective logging activities are turned off by resetting the appropriate parameters to zero. A large amount of data can accumulate over time which can use up a considerable percentage of your allocated storage space. You can manually rotate the log tables with the following command line procedures. I'll run them on my instance now. When the log tables are rotated, the current log table is copied to a backup log table. Also, the entries in the current log table are removed. 
If the backup log table already exists, then the backup log table is deleted before the current log table is copied to the backup. The backup log table for the mysql.general log and the mysql slow log table are named as mysql.general log backup and mysql.slow log backup respectively. Let's run the previous query again to check the data in the log tables. So here by mistake, I've put an extra semicolon in the above query and that is why it says no query certified. But yeah, the select star from mysql.slow log table is now empty as seen by the result. We'll check the same for the general log. This table is empty as well. As we can see after the rotation, the tables are empty. To completely remove the old data, from the slow query and the general log tables reclaim the disk space, call the appropriate procedures for rotation of logs twice in succession. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.